right, you guys, so we are back. I'm super excited to show you this model home behind me. This is called the Providence model. Now, I'm gonna be quite open with you guys. This is built by Lennar Homes. And what I want you guys to know is that in my opinion, this is probably one of the best models that Lennar has to offer. If you're getting into the next gen home kind of uh, category, then this kind of doesn't apply. This does not have a next gen suite. I know the Freedom model, and there is a bigger model that does offer that two story with the next gen along. This is just a regular home, four bedrooms, two and a half bath. 25 84 square feet two car garage of course this is just the sales office but i want you guys to take a look at exactly what this home has to offer they're building this in davenport alongside groveland so currently they actually have two of these models with a delivery time of mid-may if you're interested this is the davenport model home as i was mentioning before but they are building this in groveland and a few other communities so just be sure to reach out to me if you're interested and i'll let you know what's going on with that so i'm going to let you guys take the first entry first view directly to the left of us once we get to, uh, through this door is going to be the initial flex room so come take a look at that and you guys see okay. so this is going to be the initial flex room there are people there so i didn't want to interrupt too much but just know that this is the optional den uh study or flex room so come back this way and we're going to actually be greeted with our initial half bath turn this light on for you and i'll let you guys go inside take a look Now, if you come back over here, this is gonna be your initial closet. It could be a coat. I'm not gonna lie, it's a bit small for my taste. But remember, this is a home that is around the $400,000 price point. All right, so from here, we're gonna basically pan left to right. You're greeted with a really open concept kind of living concept with this floor plan. This is the Providence. Remember, there are other ones such as the Allentown, the Atlanta. This one does have the staircase situated on this inside of the home. I know the Atlanta model has it right at the entrance. I don't really like that if I'm being honest, but come swing this way and I'll show you guys what the kitchen has to offer essentially. All right now keep in mind this home is not open for options the way you see it is the way you get it it's pretty you know firm as far as that with lennar so come this way you see 42 inch cabinets a nice little island in the center it really does bring everything together right i know you guys really like open concept homes pantry i'm gonna be real again four hundred thousand dollar house in a pantry this size i don't know what they're quite thinking but if I were to live here, I just know at least I feel comfortable with the cabinet space where I can pretty much, you know, make do with that. And through this doorway, this is going to be the garage. As of right now, it's converted as the office space, but just know it's a two car garage. It would be really cool if you guys got this alongside, but technically, nope. But just know this is a two car. Now, now moving on from here, I'm going to show you guys just the outside backyard area. It's not a covered lid night per se, but at least it's a nice little patio area in the back. It's nothing too crazy. I would do it after the fact. I would put either a screened enclosure or maybe even a pool back here, you know? That would be pretty cool. So let's head back inside. And if you guys are following me, we're gonna go straight upstairs. I know I didn't mention this to you guys, but there is an actual loft as soon as we get up here. So let's take a look, carpeted all the way upstairs. And yes, the bedrooms uh, reside up here as well. That flex room that you saw, this is the first thing that came to my mind when I uh, saw that. I was like, let's say you did have a grandparent or somebody that you wanted to live uh, on the on the uh, main floor with you. you can convert that to a bedroom. There's a half bath, not a full one downstairs, but this is basically your loft, right? The space up here makes up for a lot of the missing space downstairs in a sense, be it that there's not technically a bedroom there. It's just a half bath, but now, we're gonna get to the good stuff. I'm gonna show you guys the master bedroom initially. So let's head through here. Of course, right here is gonna be nicely nestled away, the age rack right behind the stairs. It's definitely not bad, but go inside here and you guys will take a look at the super master. It's really spacious, right? Of course, it does have its own uh, private bath with a nice, decent sized walk in closet. So I'll let you guys scoop in there and, and you'll see dual vanity sinks as well. Super nice. So I'll let you guys peek through there. To the left, of course, is your toilet area. Not a frameless shower you guys saw, but you know, $400,000 definitely not bad. I like this one more than the Atlanta model. But if you guys wanna come back over here, <laughs> showed you guys what you wanted, 
master bedroom, owner's suite, however you want to call it. Now we have three bedrooms left before we wrap up this home tour. Now, before we get to the bedrooms, which are nestled off in this corner, we're going to be greeted with the laundry room. Not enough space per se to have a sink, but that little storage space on the right, you know, is a plus in a sense, right? It's definitely a plus. Come this way. Now, once again, the closet spacing isn't too, too crazy, but at least there is a connected bathroom conjoining these three bedrooms. And as soon as you guys come through, I'll basically show you how they look. All right, so you guys made it. Oh, I almost hurt myself bad. This is gonna be it. Pretty standard as far as the closet. Remember, not all uh, builders even give you this much space in the closet when you're looking. So in a second, you'll see it's a little bit dark, but seriously, if you guys are watching my videos, then you know <laughs> that, that they usually give you half of that size. All right, so like I said, boom, this is the initial bathroom. Here you go. This is gonna be your secondary bedroom upstairs once again. All bedrooms reside upstairs. There is a flex room downstairs that you can make do, make that an office or an extra bedroom. This is gonna be your very last one. Then we'll make our way downstairs. I really wanna know what you guys think of this model specifically. Like I said, in my opinion, from this category of homes that Lennar offers, this is my favorite floor plan. If you were gonna buy any floor plan from Lennar, Unless it's not a next gen home, <laughs> they don't really compare. I would say you go for this one. So yeah, I'm gonna wrap this up actually inside. I'll give you some shots of the exterior of the home. And you guys let me know what you think in the comments if you like this home. Like I mentioned, this home is available right now. I'm gonna put the number down here. So if you're interested in this home build or any new construction throughout the Central Florida area, so you guys already know who to call. My name is Brandon Polito. I didn't say it at the beginning this time, but I'm sure not gonna forget at the end. I'm a real estate part of the Persad Group in Orlando, Florida. Make sure you reach out to me, follow all my socials that should be sprinkled somewhere here on the screen. I really appreciate you guys watching and I'm out, all right? Bye.